U.S. Ambassador Meg Whitman on Friday, March 3rd, maintained that the U.S. would respect the Kenyan government's stand on the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, LGBTQ, community. Speaking during an event in Cajiado County, the diplomat reiterated that the U.S. viewed LGBTQ rights as human rights noting that the Kenyan government had taken a different stand. Whitman explained that the U.S. would not impose its view on Kenya adding that every country has a right to choose its stand on the controversial topic. As the United States, we probably have a different position in that we view LGBTQ rights as human rights. We respect every country's point of view and what position they will take on that and we will respect that. On the other hand, she maintained that the US would continue with its strong working relationship with Kenya despite the divergent opinion. To this effect, she dispelled any reports that the aid by the American government would be influenced by the pronouncements made by government officials including President William Ruto. The diplomat addressed the matter a day after Ruto pronounced himself on the LGBTQ debate. In his address during the launch of the Women Fund on March 2, Ruto reiterated that Kenya had cultural and religious values that did not allow same-sex relationships. The LGBTQ debate has been dominant in the public in recent days owing to the Supreme Court ruling on the registration of a non-governmental organization. In its ruling by a majority of three judges, the court determined that the community had the freedom of association as enshrined in Article 36 of the 2010 Constitution of Kenya. LGBTQ rights in Kenya. Our view is every country has to make their own decisions about LGBTQ rights. In the United States, we probably have a different position, which is we view LGBTQ rights as human rights. But we respect every country's uh, point of view on what position they want to take on this, and we will respect that. But of course, our democratic values and the way we feel is different, and that's okay. Countries have differences. We have a very strong working relationship over many years, um, and I think the Kenyan government probably knows the U.S. perspective. In fact, I know they do, but we also respect Kenya's right on this particular issue. But I want to underscore there is absolutely no linkage at all between that uh, food and drought relief and uh, Kenya's stance on LGBTQ. So, thank you. Ya kwamba mimi ni mtu ambaye ni namcha mungu. Yale mambo ambayo yamefanyika kule kotini. Hata kama tunaheshimu kotini. Lakini desturi, mila, Ukristo wetu, Uislamu wetu hauwezi kuturuhusu mke aoe mke mwenzake ama mwanaume aoe mwanaume mwenzake. Na mimi nataka niwaeleze. Tunaelewana? Mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba katika taifa letu la Kenya tuko na mila, tuko na desturi, tunaheshimu katiba yetu, tunaheshimu madini zetu zote. Hatuwezi kwenda barabara ati ya wanawake kuoa wanawake wenzao, ati na wanaume kuoa wanaume wenzao. Hiyo haiwezekani katika taifa letu la Kenya jameni. Kwa hivyo musikue na wasiwasi. Tunaelewana? Musikue na wasiwasi. Itafanyika kwingine lakini haitafanyika Kenya. Tunajua ya kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wanaeneza hiyo maneno. Watoto wetu kule university wanaangaishwa na mafundisho ya haya maneno machafu. Mimi nataka niulize wale wote viongozi wetu wa dini katika taifa letu la Kenya waweze kusimama kidete wafundishe watoto wetu wafundishe wananchi wetu ili tusipoteze mila desturi na Ukristo na Uislamu na dini zetu katika majukwaa ambayo yanatuletea mambo ambayo ni ya kigeni katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa hivyo kina mama mimi nataka niwahakikishie siwezi kuruhusu wa wanawake wenzenu wawaletee competition siwezi kuruhusu wanaume wawaletee competition ati wameenda kutafuta wanaume sasa nyinyi mtatoa wanaume wapi kama wanaume wameenda kujipanga na wanaume wenzao that one i will not agree sijui kama tunaelewana